What is going on you guys? So sorry if I'm a little chubby faced. I got my wisdom teeth out this week, but I'm still trying to make a video for you guys. And today we're gonna go over the top five bench press mistakes that could be sabotaging your bench. So by fixing these mistakes, I guarantee you'll have a stronger bench press. Now let's not waste any time and get right into the video. Mistake number one is gonna be what I call dancing feet. Now this is when you're doing your bench pressing and mid rep, your feet are moving during the movement. Now this is taking your lower half out of the motion. Guys, bench pressing is a full body movement. And when I say that is, you push through your legs to have as much explosion as possible in the exercise. So when your feet are dancing up and down during the actual rep, you're taking your lower half out of the movement and you're significantly weakening your bench press. So what I recommend is get your feet completely planted before you do your reps and that way they'll be dirty the entire time. Mistake number two is not planting your rear delts into the bench. And what I mean by this is guys, you literally have to dig your rear delts into the bench to have your upper body as stabilized as possible. This is gonna make your press much more sturdy and have you at a much stronger mechanical advantage. If your rear delts are not planted into the bench, your upper body could actually completely shift during the movement and it's gonna affect your bar path. So by planting your rear delts in the bench, you'll have a much stronger press and it'll be much sturdier of a bar path. Mistake number three is readjusting mid-set. Whether this is readjusting where your butt is on the bench, fixing your feet positioning, fixing your grip positioning. When you readjust mid-bench, you're actually gonna take yourself completely out of its mechanical advantage. So this is gonna significantly affect your bench press. It could change the bar path, it could change where the bar is coming down on your chest originally, it could change the power you're driving from your feet, it could change the power you're driving from the rear delts planted in the bench. Everything is affected when you transition mid-bench press. So what I recommend instead of doing that is, I would, if I, you have to transition during your mid-set, I would definitely recommend you actually just stop your reps, reset yourself, and then start over. So if you have three more reps to go, get those three more reps with a sturdy positioning instead of having to readjust yourself mid-set, because that could actually make you develop imbalances. So by having yourself sturdy the entire time, one, you'll be at a stronger mechanical advantage for a stronger bench press, but two, you'll make sure everything's evenly pressed. Mistake number four is lifting your butt off off the bench to finish the lift. Now yes guys, this may help you actually finish off the lift, but it's not helping you in the way you want. This is actually gonna take away from your muscle engagement in your chest. It's gonna put a lot of stress on your lower back and it actually may significantly alter the bar path which puts a lot of stress on your rotator cuffs. So by lifting your butt, yes again, it may help you finish the lift because you have that little extra push with your legs and your lower back, you recruit other muscle groups, but it puts you at a much more high injury risk. So obviously you don't wanna get injured, don't lift your butt off the bench, but also guys, it does also take you away from your mechanical advantage and it's not legal in competition. So don't lift your belt off the bench. And I'm telling you, you'll have a much stronger bench press by making yourself stay more planted and sturdy throughout the entire movement. Mistake number five is not getting a full range of motion. And this happens in two different ways. Whether it's at the bottom where people don't come all the way to the chest or at the top where they don't lock the triceps at the top of the movement. Now the reason this is such a big mistake guys is, one, it takes away from muscle engagement. So it's significantly taking away from your muscle growth. Two, since you're taking away from that muscle engagement, you aren't able to recruit as much fibers to help you have an explosive, stronger bench press, so you're taking away from your strength. And three guys, since you're not training in the correct range of motion, say one day you do train in that correct range of motion. Your rotator cuffs, most specifically, aren't gonna be trained in that flexible state, so you're 10 times more likely to tear muscles, so you're way more injury prone if you're not training in the full range of motion. So guys, train in the full range of motion, one for injury, but even more importantly, for your gains. So to recap, the five mistakes you wanna avoid while bench pressing are, first off, you wanna avoid dancing feet. So get your feet planted before you start repping your bench press. Two, you wanna have your rear delts planted into the bench, again, before you start bench pressing. This will get your upper body in the most mechanical advantage possible. Three, you wanna avoid readjusting mid-set. So guys, if you do need to readjust mid-set, re-rack the barbell, reset yourself, and then unrack it again and go finish your reps. Four, avoid having your butt come off, the, come off the bench. This is gonna put you in a much more injury risk position and it just takes away from a lot of the movement and puts your bar path in a risky positioning as well. And five, you always wanna go full range of motion. So whether it's all the way to the chest at the bottom or locking out each rep at the top. I hope you guys like this video, and if so, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Guys, head over to Instagram and like our page, at Boom, hit that follow button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Together we got power, that's just rapping.